Hey, can I borrow you for a second? Do you mind if I borrow you for a second? Um, my name's Derek. How are you? Good. Hey, Bridget. Good to meet you. Can I ask you a couple of questions yeah. on video? All right, cool. Um, I live in Portsmouth. I, I heard you overheard you say something to the um, reporter that uh, Portsmouth being on the water yeah. could be underwater. Can you tell me more about that? Um, so basically, everywhere in the world, the sea levels are going to rise, and Portsmouth, the water is right next to us. So when the water rises, it's going to destroy the city. It's only a matter of time yeah. until we have extremely devastating climate change. It won't be like next month, but it will happen unless we in our lifetime. Okay. Um, to the doubters out there, can you tell them how how you know that? Science, literally, yeah. just Google, do some research, facts. do some learning. It is actual fact. It really, really does bother me that there are people like Donald Trump in the world that are spreading mass movements of saying that climate change isn't happening yeah. when they are the exact trade unions and like issues that are causing this to accelerate. So it really is something that you just have to research and learn about and raise awareness for because it's out there and people just are using other companies' words or other big people in power's words to put against, right. uh, against it's, science. It's almost unanimously agreed on it by scientists. The, yeah. recer the recent report by the UN's International um, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change so that we have less than 11 years to halt climate change before it becomes irreversible, the damages from it. And that report was authored by scientists from all across the world, from many different governments. It was it had consultations from governments, from scientists, um, and it was a work of that is global considered research. Yeah, yeah, global research that is considered unanimously accepted, but in the scientific that community. is why we're trying so hard to get that Green New Deal enacted, so we can have these big companies and big organizations that are causing the acceleration of. Um, that decline to stop those practices. It's Very real cool. and it's happening and we have to do something about it because yeah. this, is our, this is our life our lives. and our future and so, yours too, so we should care. So to, to the doubters out there, can you give me one uh, basic fact that everyone should know? Yes, good point. Oh, now we can play some other songs. It's all on you, Bob. Greenhouse? I mean, yeah, I can make a mouth on that. Like, it's one simple thing everyone should know. Well. As I said before, we have less than 11 years until the damage done by, by, by climate change is irreversible. Um, what kind of damage are you talking about? We're talking about sea level rise, we're talking about increased intensity of storms, hurricanes, the wildfires that we've seen raging across the Amazon, Indonesia, Bolivia, Siberia, Alaska. We're talking about um, marginalized communities who are, say, living in coastal areas or in areas that will be affected by drought that will have to flee their homes to climate refugees. Geez, um, it's a very real impact. We're right here on the seacoast, yeah. and we can expect so many feet of sea level rise if we don't act in the future. The place that we are standing right now can be greatly affected, and that's communities of people. Very cool. Hey, one last question. What, um, what are the arguments from the other side? The arguments from the other side, they really don't, uh, well, at least in my experience, you can explain your own, but what I've only ever seen is they just say it doesn't exist. I've had actually a lot of backlash at my own school because I did start a movement, a walkout movement today um, for climate change, and all they were saying was like, oh, it doesn't exist because Trump says so, or they're like, you're just lying. Like, they don't ever give me facts back to me. It's not backed by science. It's, it's not, not backed, backed by, by anything. It's just backed by a hatred of something that's different, a hatred of understanding or knowing that there might be a future that could be different than what we stand on today. And it's backed by the desire to put profit over people. Exactly. And our planet. Exactly. They don't want change. And I think change can be scary for everyone, but so is climate change. And that's something that you need to be focusing on. You can't just turn your back on it forever. All right, very cool. Hey, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Thanks so much for meeting yeah. you. Um, what's your name, actually? I'm Derek, Derek J. Freeman. I post awesome. these videos in raw form on YouTube so that people can see the whole oh, event. So cool. Awesome. I, yeah, I got you. some video earlier, but um, my my camera cut out, so oh, no worry. Well, okay, I came so back. Much, like, what's your, um, uh, we'd love to put it on like our Instagram or something like that. I wish I had like a good YouTube channel name. I really don't. It doesn't but, uh, matter. It's, but it's my name is Derek J Freeman, and uh, so yeah, we can find it on. Uh, I'll be glad to post it on a Facebook page or something if you like. Oh, cool. What's yeah. what face like the climate action youth climate yeah. action? So or something? our Facebook is NAP 
Youth Climate Strike. NH Youth Climate Strike. All right. We have an Instagram that is yes. Climate Strike NH. So, cool. Yeah, Thanks a lot.